When the 671 blower is installed on a Detroit diesel engine, it has a lip cast into the side of it to hang it on the side of the engine. This lip is not needed in a hot rod installation. The best thing to do is to just cut the lip off and then blend the ribs into the case with a grinder or with a sander. I started off by clamping the case to the bridge port table indicating it nice and square so that when I milled the side of the case, I wouldn't have a tapered cut. All I wanted to do was take off the lip and then part of the ribs and not really touch the rest of the case at all. You don't need a CNC vertical mill to take this lip off. You can remove it with a hacksaw or a sawzall or even with a table saw with a carbide blade. Because the final step is hand blending anyhow, if you do a more coarse means of cutting the lip off, the hand blending will make up for it in the end. I made a series of conservative passes to get the lip off the case so I didn't take a chance on snapping off my end mill. Do you see that little stub that's left on the two side ribs where the end mill wouldn't reach? Don't worry about those. The finishing step is going to be hand blending with a die grinder and then some fine blending with the Dremel. So those little nubs only add about another 15 seconds of grinding during the blending operation. To blend in the sharp edges that were left by the end mill, I took my 90 degree die grinder put a piece of 40 grit sandpaper on it and roughed out the ribs trying to blend those so that they look somewhat like a factory rib. They're still going to stick out more than the ribs that are radiused on the other side but that's fine. This is just a cosmetic job to make the ribs rounded like the rest of the ribs on the case. I stepped down to a 120 grit piece of paper to smooth out some of the great big scratches left by the really coarse paper. The final step was using a scotch Bright disc to smooth things out. In the areas of the case very close to the bolt bosses, I resorted to using a Dremel tool. The small diameter of the sanding disc on the Dremel made it a lot easier to get into the corners near the bolt bosses and the controlled speed of the Dremel made it a lot easier to remove small amounts of material without leaving big gouges in the case. Here's a photo of the finished case. I might still do a little bit of hand blending on the case with some hand files and maybe even with some sandpaper in my fingers, but this is really 95% done. You get the idea from what I've done so far, so there's no point in showing all the hand work that's done to get those last little tiny details to make the blending perfect.